Hi, I'm Erin Kidwell, and I am playing Christine Linda in A Doll's House. I'm Jeff McMorrow, and I'm playing Crockstad in A Doll's House. And one of the things that we both think is very interesting about A Doll's House is that there is no villain in this in this story. Traditionally, my character would be the villain if you just looked at it on the surface, but this is a play about people. It's about humans who make choices and have bad things happen or thrust into certain circumstances. And it's really a play about how they relate to each other and the choices they make within those. Both of us relate to Nora, the central character, um, in pretty unique ways. And we both want something from her. Mm -hmm. She, um, being the, the central sort of apex that everything goes around, we, we relate to her in very different ways. And uh, she is a doll to some, but to others she's a lot, a lot different than that. Mm -hmm. We each have, we each, her doll-like qualities mean something different to each character in the story. And each of us has something that we need to get from Nora um, as the story unfolds. And the different ways in which we go about doing that, um, that's part of the gray area mm -hmm. that, that Jeff was just talking about where everyone has these choices. Do they do they pick something honorable? Do they go down a less honorable path? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one of the most interesting things that an audience can come away from with this show is that there really is no right and wrong mm -hmm. as far as the outcome because people are just going to be able to see that gray mm -hmm. and say, wow, that was that was a lot more than just good versus bad mm -hmm. or hero villain it's about how do you react and how do you do what's best for you and do what's best for those around you so yeah so come see it come see us in a doll's house hi i'm jj johnston i'm the director for a doll's house when we came to came to, to uh, approach this play something that really uh, struck me was the this idea that uh, Nora has these seminal events in her life. This character, uh, her entire life is changed by the events in this play. Uh, and she takes um, a totally new course on her life um, coming out of it. So, um, for me, I, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to look, if, if, we, if we visited Nora at the end of her life, or later in her life, uh, and she's remembering back, she's looking back on the events that occurred uh, in, her, uh, in her life. Uh, and these and these events in particular, and and how her life has changed because of them. Um, and with that in mind, what we what we did is we uh, we took what traditionally Henry Gibson is, uh, of course, this the um, one of the one of the fathers of realism and, and modern drama, uh, and we're going to take a very non-realistic approach to it. Um, this idea that memories, of course, uh, are hazy, and over time they. Uh, they sort of distort and are amended depending on our, our opinions of things uh, and, our, and our remembrances of them. So uh, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if uh, Nora was remembering these events and because of that, uh, things are very ethereal. We have a very uh, uh, ethereal quality to, to the production. Um, we don't have a lot of structure in terms of scenery. There's a lot of uh, it's more fabrics. Um, and so uh, it, I think it's a kind of thing that will um, will bring a, a, a fun quality to this production, uh, a sort of lightness to what is a very heavy, heavy material, um, and, uh, and I think also um, will provide a never-before-seen tack uh, to, um, to you know, what is typically a very real and realistic uh, naturalized play uh, and create this um, almost expressionist uh, uh, approach to uh, this terrific piece of modern drama. Hi, my name is Shanae Moore, and I'm playing Nora Helmer. I am Craig Daly, and I am playing Torvald Helmer in A Doll's House at Classical Theater Company. Yes. Uh, this is an awesome play. It's one that I personally wanted to do for a long time because mm -hmm. it's one of like required reading in college, and so most well, certainly every yeah. acting class ever you read. Yeah, <laughs> read so it's really House. close to. Uh, I think it's close to an actor's heart. But it's the first play that really um, explores a woman's right in the home and societal structures and um, kind of, it, it kind of addresses, um, as uh, the wonderful Shania has mentioned previously um, to me, that it really 
everyone is controlled by their choices and their position in society. It's not just mm -hmm. the women, but this play heavily focuses on it. So Right, and um, Nora's character is very childlike, and I think um, a very shallow idea of her is that that's all she is, and I think it's more that she lives in this game world, she lives in this made-up world that others have constructed for her, that society, her father, her husband, and other women, in fact, too, her nanny, have constructed this world for her, and um, and she lives in it, and everything is fun, and games, and happiness, and nothing's bad, it's just giggles the whole way through, and um, slowly throughout the show, people around her, and, and the circumstances she has gotten herself into, uh, strip away this joy, strip away this world from her that she knew, and all all that's left is a woman, an adult, who has never been an adult, and all of a sudden it has three kids, and there's an, an adult world and an adult circumstances, um, and that, and then I, what I love about the play is she's married to a man who is very much created by society, is the voice of society, but a lot of times can, you can tell he's wanting, he wants his freedom too in, in small ways. Yeah, Torvald is, uh, he is very much, you know, he, he doesn't come from money, he doesn't come from society, so he's kind of built himself into it, but he is, con he is in his mind, controlled by what society standards are, how, what a husband should be, you know, what a father should be, um, and he does have a very true, genuine affection and love for his wife that you can see throughout the play, um, but it's... You will you will sit and you will watch and you will wonder how real is this, but is it, it is the real in his uh, genuine is it in his honesty or is it because he loves her the only way he knows how? Right. Um, so. And well, I, what I find super interesting about this play is un, unlike a lot of contemporary shows and, and us in real life, money is a lot of motivator for us. And this play and just any human being we need it <laughs> money, um, but. In this play, it centers around m money for a good time. Uh, money controls everyone. It, I think Torvald is obsessed with with the idea of working for it and having it and making sure he has it. And Nora is very flippant with it most of the time. And I, money is such a huge deal. Money is what gets them into trouble. Um, mostly Nora um, gets her into trouble. But in the end, it's not about money. It, money was never really an issue. And it, it's brought to light at the end of the show what condition these two human beings are in, yeah. and it, what condition their marriage is in. It just really strips. It strips away the um, the facade of you know uh, of what uh, what you think it's about. It's all about the, this money problems issue and and the conflicts. And it's just two people in a relationship realizing the truth of their relationship and having to come to grips with it. And it's beautiful, and it's heartbreaking, and it's wonderful. It is, and it's it's worth coming to. Yeah, you should <laughs> definitely come see it. So. <laughs>